Hello everybody. So welcome to the third demonstration of the functionality of the new in Punkt Bisto Art Driver for cloud computing. Now in um, this demonstration we want to show you uh, different input streams, different input scenarios for SAP. So we see that we can connect some documents directly to the SAP objects and uh, these documents will be stored via our Impunto Bisto Archive or Cloud Computing directly in the Google area, in the storage area. So the first screen shows us uh, the actual status of the Google Archiving. There is the list of the actual documents inside and now we want to switch over to uh, an application, to a Microsoft application in this case. Uh, so we integrate, for example, also uh, the complete Microsoft in the application into the SAP world. And uh, we do this from a point of view, it's very specific. We do this in a bidirectional way. This means that we can send some uh, information from the screen, from the, from the desktop to SAP and back again. This is very interesting uh, in, in this case. So we have to connect us. Um, uh, coming with the menu bar, uh, we have the logon and then in this example we write some descriptions, for example, and then we want to generate some new document info record. This is the mechanism we address in SAP, and so we push on the button, create the new record, and then you know SAP needs some additional information for the administration of this document. In this case, we need um, a concrete value for a customer number. So we type the number inside the field or we have a look on the search help on the right side and we complete the information SAP needed for this for the administration and said OK. So in this case you see the bidirectional way of the communication. Um, SAP sends back the information about the document number and so on and the document type. Um, this is really good in, the, in this case and now we want to fulfill and end this procedure, so we store these um, original to SAP. So um, the document was now successfully stored in SAP and was local deleted. It's very important that we have no copy on the local on the local machine. So we switch over to the Google archiving list uh, to the files we see and uh, do some refresh. And now we see the two additional files coming from these procedure we've seen before. You remember uh, the generation of the two files, this is typical SAP modus. This is no influence by, uh, by Impunto. This is a specific SAP way. So uh, another thing is how we can find we can retrieve the information or we can find the document back again. So we have different possibilities. In one case, we have a drop-down list with the last uh, executed uh, um, documents. We do it in, in Word, for example, so you, it's very easy. With a single click, you get uh, your uh, last document to work with it. Um, or we have another two. Uh, of course, we can work directly with SAP and we activate the the, the search help and type some selection criteria for the search in this case and so uh, we choose this is the document info record and then we start it and you see this is the document info record with the original um, file uh, with the doc file uh, in the link. So another thing, we close this, we change the application, we switch over to the, uh, the, to the Exchange, to the Outlook client, for example. So we have a, we have a mail, and uh, it, it's important to say that um, the mail um, uh, consists um, with different parts. We have, uh, for example, we, ha we have the mail itself, we have uh, the body of the mail, and we have the attachments, for example. These are relevant parts for the administration inside SAP. And so, um, have a look on this mail. We have just the same integration, it's just the same menu bar uh, as Word, as Excel, as PowerPoint, and so on. And so, right from the, from the mail, you can create a new document info record and complete the information, for example, in this case, a state protocol if needed, or some customer number if needed, and so on. So in this case, uh, we did fulfill the description once again. Of course, 
outcoming from the male, we can um, identify some included values and fulfill uh, the relevant um, uh, terms, for example, the email address, uh, the names, and so on, some relevant things which are inside the mail um, when we want to, to store it. So, but in this case, we want, um, once again, we were, the document was successfully stored in SAP, and now we get a little question. Do we want to delete it now from the local, <coughs> local area? We said yes, and um, we switch over to the Google listing and do the refresh, and now you see not three. You remember the two files per document. There are six new entries um, in, uh, in the Google archiving area. So, um, once again, we have the possibility to uh, have a look on the, on the uh, mail. So, we want to, to uh, find this document. We do some selection criteria once again, and uh, so we identify the document info record. And so, this is very specific uh, that uh, we uh, identify three files. Um, you remember, we just see the six files in the Google area. Uh, why three files? Because we have um, such a kind of mechanism that we take complete the message file, the MSG file. We uh, separate all the, um, the the mail body. This is the text file, and uh, we separate the, the the PDF information, the PDF file. Once again, so we have the the different components of this mail in a in a separate way. This makes sense if we do some uh, full text recognition. If we do some uh, uh, full text search engines. Uh, coming from SAP, for example, you can use it in this way. So, once again, we want to change the application. Now, uh, a very easy way to put some files from the computer directly to SAP is uh, a drag and drop mechanism we realized. This is also a part of the Office Synchronizer from Impunctu for SAP. This means if you have um, one or more files uh, on your computer and you want to check in um, uh, into uh, SAP, then we have the possibility with this drag and drop mechanism. So we, in this example, we select one file, the Google screen TIFF, and want to generate a document info record. We fulfill, you know, uh, meanwhile, you know the procedure. Uh, we uh, fulfill the um, relevant parts here, and once again, the document was successfully stored. So, uh, we switch over once again to the Google archiving list and uh, do the refresh, and so you see the new entry uh, to the Google uh, filing system. So once again, to find this document, you type inside the search help, you type uh, your criteria, you identify the document info record, and with a double click you can open your screen. So uh, this is uh, for for us for Impunctu. It's very important that we can use the application, the generating application for documents, for example, to put these documents inside SAP. And we are the Bisto Archiver for cloud computing. We have the whole possibility to store this in the in the Google area. I thank you very much for your attention. Bye bye.